시간 지나도 바뀌는 건 없고 Okay, you guys, I am currently at Onda's, which is in Tokyo. So this is our first day in Tokyo, and this is the most epic room. So I have to give you guys a tour coming down this front entryway. We actually have this really cool like, light um, set up here. Got a nice tea set up over here. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Tokyo, but land is super expensive here. So normally the hotel rooms are so cramped that you cannot even walk anywhere. We've got double office, one office here, one office here. We have a full, uh, this is probably a king size bed actually, it's massive. But wait, but wait, look, oh my God. Okay, and then let me show you the kind of entryway area. It's actually quite large. We have a luggage storage area. You can fit probably at least five big suitcases here, backpacks, hangers up here. We do have the beautiful bathroom sink. Really nice wood finishes. In the actual bathroom, we've got a shower, of course. And then we actually have like a full size tub. My parents don't like to be on camera, so you won't really hear them speak or anything, but this is the first time that I've been able to take my parents out like on a trip because I've been a creator for some time now, but obviously it took me a long time to kind of establish myself and get kind of cool collabs. And a lot of the times I get the cool collabs, Kevin ends up going with me, but I've always wanted to take my parents and the timing for this one worked out perfectly. And it also feels really special because it's Japan, it's Tokyo, it's, you know, where I was born. In the last couple of years, I have become so much more financially independent, financially stable, um, and to be able to fund trips not not only for myself, but also for my parents and be able to bring them on experiences that they otherwise would not book for themselves. Not because they can't, but because they're Asian parents and they are frugal and they're always saving money. And I think my job as a daughter is to be able to let them do the things that maybe they would enjoy, but don't actually want to whip out their wallet for. I think mean, Papa Rai is gonna be very excited for the bar. Okay, it's currently 5 p.m. and that's when the rooftop bar opens. Look how pretty the setup is and let me just show you the view. Can you believe that Tokyo Tower is just like in our backyard? Okay, we have a full spread here with the view. This is actually some nigiri. There's five pieces. We have some red wine. This is the Sakura Jin. It actually comes with a tiny tatami. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And then this is whiskey. Hi, kanpai. This is the third cup of royal milk tea I am making for my mom. Oh my god! You can see Tokyo Tower. You have to turn off the lights, otherwise the reflection is very bright, but... Good morning! I thought I was gonna sleep in, but it's 6.30. The breakfast starts at 6.30 and... At 6.25, my mom turns on all the lights and she's like, I'm hungry. How is it? Not bad? Nice. Finally, I have my entree. This is the Japanese breakfast set. So we have some rice, some miso soup, of course, staples, and then some salmon. For the last part of this trip, I met up with my girlfriend and you would not believe this. We literally showed up to the hotel in the same outfit. Like great minds once think alike. Hello, we are in Japan. I'm here with Katrina. This was completely unintentional. Not us wearing the same like jeans too. Like we just came here and accidentally matched, but we're currently in Asakusa. <laughs> it took me a beat, but we just got back from Shibuya and doing some damage shopping. We're gonna try some of this Wanabi Mochi right here. Is it your first time trying? Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm so excited. I hope this one's good. So this is like a very popular mochi in the summer in Japan and they have kinako, which is like a soybean powder. Is that cheers! what's on top? Yeah. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's really good. This is like my childhood eating these like little mochis. We just got our nails done and oh my gosh, I have this like tiny bear on my nails and you have um, this like beautiful, like, I don't know how to describe, yeah, it's like a rock <laughs> like garden, garden design. Garden. I thought it was interesting that they use like um, 
paint brushes. So like literally They're paint really on. detailed oriented and they were like mixing pigments together. It was yeah. really cool. Okay, we are going to Katsuya, which is actually a chain. Okay, we're picking up matcha, or not matcha, but taiyaki <laughs> in general now. This is dessert. Okay, here's what the taiyaki looks like. We've got two food reviewers, one over there, one over here. Oh my god, it's really good. Good morning. We're currently about to head to Disney Sea and taking the most intense route we will have ever taken on in Tokyo, but it's three transfers. Do you think we'll make it? I mean, we're gonna make it, but it's gonna take a while. How long is it gonna take is the question. <laughs> but we are in matching fits today. It's actually kind of nice, the sun is out, oh. so. Okay, transfer number one is complete. We're heading to train number two. Yes, platform one. It's really important when you take it to look at like the exit it says and which way to walk towards. That is in fact where we're going. Okay, taking the final resort gateway line. Hopefully the Suica works for this. I don't know if it does. You always want to make sure you have to click on the actual card to get it to work. And then it does space ID. And then you just scan. You don't have to wait for it to go all the way through. Oh, so cute. Everyone said that we had to come to Disney Sea. Like it's the really special. I guess it's like the California Adventure. Well, it's right. the only one of its kind. And it has Ariel's castle. I just feel like Japan does everything better, like the details and everything. Like this thing. So there are some Japan exclusive items, and these are the ones. Thinking about getting some ears or something. We got the little pink ears. And it's soft. And this is, I don't even know which character this is. Or do I get this one? This one's also low-key really cute. So cute. They have some ears that I've never seen before. Here's our total. Okay, we're feeling good. We secured the ears. We decided to get different ones so that we're, we have the option to switch it up if we want to. We finally found the green mochi. We're Party number one. It's only 400 yen, which is like three bucks-ish. This is what it looks like. It looks so cute. Okay, we are currently doing the cup ride, but this one is aerial themed and there's only five cups. Okay, overall, pretty great day. Yeah, it was super chill. We Mine like, weren't that long. Yeah, we started a bit late around 10, which I think was better because we didn't hit the early morning line. Here, here's the room tour. This is 0.5, but we've got two beds with roughly a little less than a foot in between each bed. Um, we have a little mini fridge here, a safe, um, a view from the third floor, and then we do have a... <laughs> bathroom oh, oh this is actually kind of bigger the last one. yeah the layout is better we do have um a bathtub wow you want me to get that one the red one okay happy birthday <laughs> we're trying to convince kevin and see if he wants a light blue instead because you want the pink and blue <laughs> the red is like a bit much it's like a bit red guess what we secured I can't believe we got these. Like these are impossible to get in the U.S. My friend waited in line for like 12 hours overnight, like in a tent, no. to get one. Literally, but, but we get got it. it! <laughs> so of course I had to get two. One for me and one for Kevin. I decided to get Mission to Venus, which so many of you guys guessed in the DMs. This is the pink one, of course, which I felt like fit my personality best. It's honestly even cuter than I imagined. If you're looking for a store that can buy everything in Japan, but a little bit more sophisticated than Don Quixote, I highly recommend Loft. We like initially found it on TikTok, but I, I guess it's literally all over Tokyo. This is just a small glimpse of the stationery. Anything and everything you could ever want. Like, have you ever wanted themed mouth liners? Limited edition things that are impossible to get in America. You can get a dog booty post-it <laughs> note, yes. We've got cleaners 
on planners, on planners. Have you ever wanted stamps? Have you ever wanted iffy stamps? Look how cute AirPods case is. Heading up to Shibuya Sky. Currently at Shibuya Sky. This is the view. Okay, so once you scan your QR, this is where it leads you to. They do let you in 10 minutes early from your slot in case you get here early. Oh, I can definitely see why they say this is like the best view in Tokyo. Hi. Okay, we got some drinks. Yay. So you get this little private area if you get some drinks. <laughs> okay. I got the cocktail, peach cocktail, yeah. and Mickey got it. I got that orange it's juice. juice. Oh my god, I've never seen Udon this big in my, like, here's my hand for a scale. This is crazy. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi, this is my friend Erica. Is that the biggest spoon you've ever used? Yes. <laughs> it's literally the size of your whole face. <laughs> okay, we just hung out with one of my subscribers. Her name is Erica. I've been, like, talking to her online for years, but getting to meet her in Japan was so special. Hello! It's a new day and we did the cat temple this morning and now we are at Harajuku. We are so hungry that we picked up something from the station, uh, but there's plenty of street food. And where are we heading now? Oh, the crepe place! Yes, we're <laughs> heading to crepe. So this will be our lunch. It's like a little Danish stick looking thing. There's a lot of cute hair accessories in Harajuku, so we're going to do a bit of shopping. Very famous street. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some hair bows here. Cute little bows! Hey, at Marion Craves. This is my favorite crepe shop of all time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it's really good. Right? Isn't the whipped cream? It's Japanese really whipped cream. Like, it's, I think it's the milk that they use. It just tastes so much better. <laughs> I picked up the little badge reel holder and a badge reel ID holder for Kevin. Back at the hotel, and guess what? We have a little mini haul. We have a twenty three. I got sour cream and onion chips. Katrina got regular basic potato chips. These are my favorite butter crackers. And then we have gummies. Onigiri time. This is uh, one of the kind of bucket list items that we wanted to do before we left Tokyo, but we're here at Team Labs and they have some cool installations. So we're gonna go enjoy. Our Japan adventures are coming to a close. Um, you can get a airport limousine bus. It's this like orange bus and it'll take you directly to the airport if you have a ton of luggage or just don't want to change a bunch of trains on your way back. I think it's really convenient.